Hi, I just wanted to cover um, a couple little things. One of the questions that I'm most frequently asked with uh, well, Rapid Rig is whether you can use it in a game environment and how you would go about doing that. And so what I've got here is I just have Unity running and I've uh, exported um, a character, or in this case, a tiger, and with just an animation on it. So there's nothing too crazy going on here, but this is just a rigged character from Maya using Rapid Rig. And so I'm going to show you how you can get this into Unity um, using just the steps in Maya. Once it's in Unity, it's up to you to break it up into the different animations or export it however you want uh, into whatever engine you're using. So when we're in uh, Maya, you've hopefully set up your character, you've laid out your proxies, and then you're ready to generate the rig. So whether you're using uh, Rapid Rig Basic, Advanced, or Modular, um, all of them will work. Uh, to get them into a game engine of some kind. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now generate my rig. So I've set up my proxies, everything's the way I want, it's fitting the character uh, more or less the way I, I would expect. And I'm just going to go in and generate the rig. And so this will take a couple moments to run and once it's done there's going to be a pop-up window asking if you want to generate a single joint hierarchy. Now um, certain engines don't respect joint scaling and are expecting uh, a single joint chain. That's not always the case, but for the most part, um, you'll generally want a single hierarchy joint set if it's for a game environment. If it's for film or television, you probably don't need to worry about it. Um, but this here, once you've uh, set up everything else, you get this window. So it's asking, do you wish to generate a single hierarchy joint chain or joint set? Um, and Again, this is only recommended for game environment, so if that's what you're planning on doing, you can either click yes, or yes and create joint at origin. Some uh, game engines need like a trajectory type of joint at the uh, center of the character at the base. Um, in this case, I'm not gonna worry, I'm just gonna uh, just hit yes. And if you don't want it for film or whatever, uh, or television, you can just hit no. And But uh, for this demo, I'm gonna hit yes. All right, so now I have my rig, and I can go in and start attaching my geometry. Now, when I do this, um, you want to be careful that you're attaching it to the right joint. So automatically, it will load in the name of the rig here. If um, you've come back to the file and you want to um, start skinning, you want to make sure you're skinning your mesh to the correct uh, joints. So to do that, we can simply load in our rig and then go select skinning joints. and if you've generated a single hierarchy, it will ask if you want to select the standard joints or the single hierarchy. So in this case, I'm going to go select hierarchy. Now that it's selected those joints, I'll uh, shift select my mesh. And I'm going to go to skin, bind skin, smooth bind. And I've covered this in other tutorials, but uh, hopefully the settings make, make sense. Uh, if not, check out a tutorial for them. I'm not going to spend much time on this. And uh, once I'm happy with my settings, I'll just simply um, make sure, well, one thing to make sure of is that you're binding to selected joints, right? Because there are extra joints in the rig. So I'll hit bind skin. So now my character is essentially attached to uh, the rig here. Uh, I'm going to open a file. I've just done a little bit of work on the skinning. In this file, I've already just kind of did a quick pass on the skinning just so it deforms a little better. And I've done a little animation too, just to have something to export. So just having the body come down and the jaw open. Um, so once you're ready to export, what you want to do is you want to strip out everything you don't need. And you could do that by deleting the rig itself. Now, if you delete this, you're going to lose the animation. So before you do that, you need to bake out your animation. So the easiest way to do that is, again, go back to here. Um, select your uh, the rig of the, er the character you want to export. Hit Load Rig. Go select Skinning Joints. And choose your single hierarchy joint chain. And these are all constrained by default to um, the other joints in the rig, the standard joints. So this is just layered on top. And then we skin our character to the single hierarchy joint chain. So now that I have those selected, I'm going to go under Edit and Keys Bake Simulation. 
and I'm just going to use the default settings. If you want to adjust it or adjust your timeline or however you want to make any changes depending on uh, your engine, you may have to reduce your keys, whatever you have to do. Um, I'm just going to use the default and I'll just hit bake. And what it's going to do is it's going to go to every single frame and bake in all the animation. Bake a, a frame out for every uh, joint on every frame. And so now that I have that, I can get rid of my rig. Now, this is something you only want to do when you're ex at the exporting stage, um, just to make sure it's clean. You don't even have to do this, but just for uh, sanity's sake, I'm just going to get rid of everything I don't need. So always make sure you save it before you delete your rig. So I'm going to hit Delete Rig. And here you have the option to de delete the entire thing, so hit Proceed. Or if you want to keep the single hierarchy joints, which is what we want to do so that we can export that with our uh, model, we'll click this. So that gets rid of all of the rig and all the controls, but we still have the joints here. Oops. Let's turn on x-ray joints. So there they are, and I can see how those are affecting my character still, even though the rig itself is completely gone. So now what I can do is uh, I'm going to select all the mesh here. So I have a bunch of pieces in the mouth and things like that too. So I want to make sure I grab all that and then I'll shift select uh, the root joint and I'm going to go file export selection. And then I can just call this uh, whatever. So I have already created this one here, Tiger Anim FBX. And then you want to make sure that in your FBX settings, if that's the file format you're exporting, um, that you do have your geometry turned on uh, to the settings you want. And in this case, I am wanting to export animation. So you may have just a character rig where you want to export that separately and you don't want the animation. But I've put the model and rig and animation all in one file, so I just want to make sure that that's turned on. And everything else should be fine for me. If you want to export any of your own custom settings, that's fine. And so now I'm just going to hit uh, export selection and I'll just replace that other file. And it's just gonna go through and export all the animation, all the data and the rig and the model and the skinning information. And then if I go into Unity, uh, here's that same file. I can, I uh, should be able to refresh it. And there we go. And so here's that file, and I can play, and there's that same animation that I had in Maya. So just this looping. You can see that same thing happening in Unity. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's fairly straightforward a process. Um, just make sure that you don't save your file once you're at this point because you're going to lose everything or save it as a different file when you're in um, Maya. Otherwise you're going to lose all that rigging stuff. But it's probably a good idea to delete your rig before you export. Um, that way you're keeping it clean, you're keeping your data size down and all you're getting is just the joints with the keys on them and your mesh. Thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions feel free to get in touch with me.